Hebrews chapter 4, verse 11. And here you and I will see that God's loving grace is given for gospel striving. God's loving grace is given for gospel striving. That God is going to give you and me, brother and sister, all that we need to be all that he's called and created us to be. Now, some will say, I don't get that, and others will say, I get it too often. But let me just remind you, it's in Acts 1.8 where God tells us, Jesus' last words, that you're going to receive power when my spirit comes on you so that you can be my witness. I'm going to give you my loving grace so that you can go ahead and do the gospel striving that is witnessing. All authority in heaven and on earth have been given to me. Therefore, you go. I'm going to give you, through my sovereign grace, everything that you need to fulfill your human responsibility. This is at the heart of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You've been saved by grace, not works. Through your faith comes this grace so that you can do the works. You're not saved by works, but you are saved for works. Again, divine sovereignty, and you see it in his grace, and that grace comes so that you and I can strive to fulfill the gospel's call on our lives. To understand God's rest is to realize that God's rest is not a fix for exhaustion. It's the celebration of completion. Think of rest not as a, whew, my pooped, but rather I rest my case. It is complete. That God's rest is not a fix for yours and my exhaustion. God's rest brings us into that place where we celebrate his completion. That he said in creation, I've now finished, it is good. I've put the plan in motion. We turn that plan into a promise in the Garden of Eden in Genesis 3.15. And when Jesus hung on the cross, he said, it is finished. Now the promise is fulfilled. You have everything you need for life and godliness, Christian. Therefore, let us strive to enter God's rest, that rest, so that. Why? So that. Why are we striving? So that no one, no one will fall or perish by following the same example of those who disobeyed. Let me try to help you. You won't be able to keep up with the notes. Let it just wash over you, and I pray, come back to it. Come back to it in the notes. Rewatch this message. You want to know what it is to find and exemplify God's rest? God's rest is found and grown in fields of truth and love. God's rest is found when you learn the truth about love and when you love the truth of God. His rest is found when you fulfill your purpose with passion. God's rest is found in the aftermath of offering your very best. His rest is found when you get what you want if what you want is Jesus. His rest is found when you get honest with yourself and God. God's rest is found when you surrender to victory in Jesus the Christ. God's rest is found when you repent and believe biblically. God's rest is found when God's holiness humbles you. God's rest is found when your happiness is found in God's holiness. His rest is found when God's mercy and grace redefine you. His rest is found when God's spirit indwells and empowers you. His rest is found when God's glorification is what generates your joy. His rest is found when Christ's likeness shifts from a have to to a get to. God's rest is found when being the church replaces going to church. God's rest is found when human happiness is upgraded to joy in Jesus. God's rest is found when in faith-filled fullness you live out the fruit of the Spirit. His rest is found when you overcome your fear and laziness. His rest is found when you walk sure-footed on the narrow path. His rest is found when you can celebrate your first spiritual funeral. When you die to self is a celebration. You can find his rest when his revelation becomes your revolution. You'll know God's rest when you don't need relaxation to rest. 
You'll know it's God's rest when you don't need relaxation to rest. You'll find God's rest when you live for others instead of yourself. When you live for tomorrow instead of today. You'll find God's rest when you live to die and die to live. You'll find God's rest when you know the answer, capital A, to life's eternal questions. You'll find God's rest when you see God biblically for who he really is. You'll know God's rest when the Bible comes alive to you. You'll know God's rest when each one of you trade in your whys and worries for thank yous and praise. You'll know God's rest when Jesus turns the lights on. You'll know and have God's rest when tragedy and suffering are seen through God's eyes. You'll know God's rest when you live above and beyond your circumstances. You'll have God's rest when you live with an attitude of gratitude. When you take every thought captive. When you forgive freely and completely. You'll have God's rest when you want to be righteous more than just wanting to be right. You'll find God's rest when you come to and give your burdens to Jesus. You'll have God's rest when you stop fighting against God and his word. His rest is found when you find and fulfill God's mission in your life. God's rest is found when you realize you are an overwhelming overcomer, Christian. God's rest is found when your forever fills and overshadows your today. When your forever is bigger than your today, you'll know his rest. God's rest is found when your walk and your talk mirror one another. When your walk and talk hold hands, you'll know God's rest. You'll know God's rest when you're with others that you can truly trust. I wish I could say that one a thousand times. You'll know God's rest when you live a life worthy of your calling, when you make disciples who make disciples, when you find the lost and grow the found. You'll have God's rest when you become his army, his aroma, and his ambassadors. You will know God's rest when you learn and love to live in the full armor of God. You'll have his rest when you realize that your war is already won, Christian. You will know that rest. You will have his rest when God's word becomes your ultimate authority. When give becomes better than get in your life. When you can finally stop searching for rest, you will know this rest. His rest is found when you actively trust Jesus as your Lord and Savior. His rest is found when the Spirit of God transforms and fills your heart. His rest is found... When your goals and God's goals align and agree with one another, you will have his rest when you stop needing new remedies for your old realities. You'll know his rest when what you want is what God wants. You'll know and have his rest when you become a no matter what Christ follower. A few more. You'll know and have his rest when you realize that real rest is a miraculous gift and you can't get it anywhere else. You'll come to have and know his rest when you're willing to give away everything else to have it. Finally, rest is found when you realize there's only one place where rest can be found. Rest is found when you realize there's only one place that God's rest can be found. And you will have God's rest when you realize that you are being carried by Christ while you are carrying your cross.